Hello everyone, welcome back. So this time we'll be doing examples about energy. So let's read the problem and see if we can figure it out. Now it says a 300 gram mass is lifted 25 feet into the air in 30 seconds. Okay, so 300 grams, here we go, 25 feet. Pins has gone a bit weird today, 30 seconds. Cool, 300 gram mass, 25 feet, 30 seconds. What is the energy required in the units of joules? Now, first off, what kind of energy do you think this is? Now, if we read this, it says lifted, lifted, or moving up. As such, it's probably potential energy. Now, let's just say that we don't know that. Let's just think about other things. Was well, the temperature given? No temperature, no specific heat. So, and you know, it's got mass, but nothing else. So it's not gonna be heat, not thermal energy. Was there a velocity given? There wasn't, and there's no way to that though you might say well 25 feet in 30 seconds that's velocity right but it doesn't say that it's still moving at the top we're just lifting it and we're stopping no velocity at the end be very careful you won't get the same number if you try to use kinetic energy so not kinetic um is it work in the end work and um potential energy have more or less the same form because the force we're applying is more or less the weight so other one could work, but potential energy is the quick answer. So mass, gravity times height, whoop, times change in height is equal to potential energy. Okay, so also be the change potential energy, but we're assuming it has a zero to begin with. So let's look at all of our things and see if we have everything we need in the right units. We don't, we never do. So 300 grams, well that needs to be in kilograms. So let's convert it, so 300 grams, okay, 1,000 grams in a kilogram, so that would be 0.3 kilograms. 25 feet, what we need in meters, so 25 feet, 3.28 feet in one meter, and let's use my hand dandy calculator to figure out what that should be. So 25 divided by 3.28 is equal to 7.62, okay. 7.62 meters and then gravity is 9.81 so let's plug it in potential energy in joules because we have everything in our base units base SI units will just pop out the energy unit and so that'll be 0.3 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared times 7.62 meters and all this together will turn into joules so let's plug my calculator and see what it gives me. So 0 0.3 times 9.81 times 7.62. 172.1 it looks like. It's 172.1 joules. And if I hit the next key, let's see. I'm in the way. They said 22.4 joules. What went wrong here? 0.3, 9.8, 7.62. I'm actually inclined to believe them, which means that I plugged something terribly wrong into my calculator. Oh, I did three. I believe it said 0.3. That doesn't actually give me everything I'm trying to figure out here though, so. Okay, let's try again. 0 0.3, 0 0.3 times 9.81. Yeah, don't know how I did that. Times 7.62. 22.4, okay. So if you plug things right into your calculator, it will work. So with this, we did an example of potential energy. Um, and next time we'll do a different example with a different type of energy. So I hope this helps you and I'll see you all next time. Bye.